Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I can't wait to show you this card. It's a little bit silly, but it is the idea that popped in my head as soon as I pulled out the hot dog stamp set. I love a stamp set like this where it has clean line images that you can color with your stamp and blends. It's got lots of cute little accessories and it's got some really cute punny sayings. You know, they're uh, cute puns and they're funny. So let me show you what I did. It says, I love you. That's the long and short of it. So I made my wiener dog really, really long on the inside. So it's gonna take a little bit of free handing on it. I know he's not perfect, but I still think he's pretty darn cute. Okay, let's get started. Um, let's start by assembling our card. I've taken a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock and scored it at two and an eight on both sides. And I've got some designer series paper. This is the Playful Pets designer series paper. And I am just going to put it on here with my um, stamp and seal. All the measurements that you need for this card are over on my blog. You can click the link here on YouTube. It'll take you over to a uh, post that was originally a Facebook Live. Uh, and it has two other hot dog projects there if you want to see them. Now I'm gonna put this across like this, and you're gonna think um, you're sealing your card closed, Erica, but I'm just gonna snip it in the middle um, when it's done. That way I know it'll be perfectly straight. All right, I'm gonna put it down here towards the bottom because our little hot dog is gonna be standing on that. Now let's get our, this is a basic white stitched scallop that I cut out with the stitched Be Mine heart dies and if I can get my glue to work this glue is just giving me problems all week I'm sure it's user error all right let's see I'm gonna put that right at the top edge of that like that okay now while it dries I'm gonna put something heavy on it Whoops, I just slid it over. I'm gonna put that bowl on it. We'll go ahead and color our little hot dog. We're gonna actually stamp him twice. Um, we're just gonna fussy cut the front side of him here in a little while and we're gonna draw the rest of him on there. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp him, since we're using stamp and Blends, we're gonna stamp him in Memento. I have a stitched rectangle for the front. So I'm gonna kind of put him over this direction on the left side. And I've got the little envelope. I'm gonna do two of them flat like that. And I'm gonna stamp one over here because I'm gonna cut it out and uh, pop it up onto his mouth. Then we've got this stamp. If you can see it, it says, I love you. That's the long and short of it. It's connected together. And I only want to stamp the I love you on the front. So I'm going to take a post-it note and I'm going to cover up the bottom. I need to look to make sure I've got it all covered. All right, now I'm going to ink it and take that off and we'll just stamp that right there. All right, now there's this other cute little stamp. Oh, I think I have it on the other tray. Where did I put it? It's the cutest part of the stamp set. It's the little tail wag. Right here, you just stamp it on either side of his tail. <laughs> and it looks like his tail's wagging. So cute. All right, and then we'll stamp it one more time. We'll stamp him right over here. This is the one we're gonna, we're gonna cut out. Okay, I am gonna color him with Soft Suede. Now, Soft Suede is a darker brown, so I'm gonna start with the light, and I'm just gonna go over him with a full coat of light Soft Suede. I actually Googled Dachshunds to see what colors they come in, and most of them are this brown color. Um, there are some that are black, and then there are those that are black and brown. Um, I think they call that brindle. So you could kind of get crazy and do something totally different with that. Or you could color him, I don't know, purple if you wanted. There's no rules, whatever you wanna do. 
but I like to use realistic colors. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my, well, let's do this first. Let's go along the edge. I like to use my bullet tip point when I have to get close to the edge. And then I can get my brush tip and fill in the bigger spots, okay? Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of shadow with the dark, the dark soft suede. I'm gonna come under his ear and I'm gonna come under his ear over here. I'm gonna go up like this just a little bit on his snout. I'm gonna come down here on his belly and around the back side of that paw and then the paw that's behind. And then we'll do the same over here like that, and then maybe up the bottom of his tail. Okay, so now I think I will go back to that brush tip end of my light, and I'm just gonna blend those colors back into the rest of him. He's adorable. All right, good. Now I'm gonna get my real red and color in those. I'm gonna color in that one. Before I come over to him, I'm gonna take my light crumb cake and just add a little bit of a shadow line under him so he doesn't look like he's floating in space. You know, he's there planted on the ground. We could even put a little shadow there for that one. Now for this guy, we only need the front half of him, right? We are going to cut this out and put it here, and then we're gonna stamp the back side of him, and then we're gonna draw a line to uh, meet, <laughs> meet in the middle. So I will take my light soft suede and just color the front half. I mean, you could color the full part if you want, but I don't, think that you really need to. All right, so again with the light. And I'm gonna use this bullet tip in here on the small parts. Come back with my brush end. And go about two thirds of the way back. Okay, add a little bit of shadow to him. There we go. And you know, you don't have to add a shadow if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable or you just want to get it done quickly, you can skip that part. Okay, now we're going to just kind of blend that color in. Okay, now we're gonna do what we call fussy cutting. That's when you use your scissors. There are no dies for this guy. I'm not gonna worry so much about the back end. And I am going to go around very carefully with my paper snips. These are Stampin' Up! scissors. They're really, really good for this. They're sharp and they're small. And um, small scissors really are the key when you're fussy cutting because it helps you kind of get in those nooks and crannies. And you just wanna go slow. I stay on the outside of that black line. And I always say that the eye is only gonna see that black line. So don't worry too much about perfect cutting because the eye will really only see that black line. So if you stay on the outside of that black line, you won't need to worry about it. All right now this one's pretty easy. It's just a rectangle. And we'll cut that and that. Now I need a mini dimensional and I have a feeling that I don't have any. Let's see if I have some over here. You know, when I need a regular dimensional, I only have minis. <laughs> when I need a mini dimensional, I only have regulars. Does that happen to you guys? Yeah, that seems to be how things roll around here. All right, little tiny mini dimensional on that little letter. 
and let's see, how did I have it? We'll put it like that, like it's in his mouth. Oh, so cute, okay, that part is done. Now let's bring our card back and we're gonna snip that edge off. I'm gonna come up here with my scissors and cut that apart. Now I'm actually gonna glue this down flat because I want them to just open this. I thought about one thing you could do is put the adhesive like this in here and then you could put a gift card in there. I don't know, um, you know, whatever you, your need for this card is. Um, I, with the sentiment that I'm using, I think it's just a fun, you know, I miss you card. So I don't know if a gift card is necessary. All right, now to continue this on the inside, I have cut the same size of this snail paper. This is from the snail, snailed it, sweet, right? And let's get that fold in there. So when you open it, you'll still see that. And I have another, another, um, scallop, stitch scallop. Usually I have trouble getting the glue to even come, to, to not come out in a rush. And now I'm having trouble getting it to come out. It's never happy. All right, so we're gonna put that there. All right, let's snip that. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my dog, let's take a look. We're gonna put him standing right there. So I think I can cut him about right there. All right, we wanna put his feet so he's standing. Let's get him right on the edge. Hopefully I'm not out of the frame. Right on the edge there is where I'm gonna put his body and then align his feet up there. Okay, now we're gonna get this guy, the tail, and we're gonna stamp just the tail in there. I need to clean my stamp and I don't have my chamois. So what I'm gonna do to protect my the other half of my card, I think I'm just gonna put this here when I while I stamp. Um, if you have your chamois, clean your stamp and that won't be a problem. And so see how I'm just inking up the back half and I'm gonna stamp him right there. So I'm gonna put this down so I don't get that on the card, the rest of his body. All right, so I'm gonna stamp his feet standing right there on that scalloped white part. And there we have it. Now we've gotta connect the lines, okay? I'm gonna use my basic black stamp and write marker. I love this marker. It's got a real fine tip. It's like a pen. And you guys, you just have to freehand it. I am not specially trained artist and I can't really draw a great straight line, but he's a dog, so he doesn't have to be perfect, right? So there we go. And his belly is gonna kind of droop down. So I'm gonna just go kind of like this and back up. <laughs> there you have it. Is it perfect? No. Is that okay? Yes. Totally okay. All right, so now we're just gonna color him in with our Stampin' Blends. I was thinking that this would be a great card to send to a child. Maybe a grandma sending it to her grandchild. Um, maybe um, a child sending it to another child. Maybe a cousin or a friend that's moved. This would be a really fun card for a kid to get. All right, let's fill him in. It's hard for me to call them dachshunds. I just want to call them a wiener dog. I don't know about you guys, but that's whenever we see one of these, that's what we say. Look, a wiener dog. They're just so funny and cute. My mom has a long dog, but he, she's a corgi and she's silly and goofy too. I like long dogs, they're funny. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna stamp the other side, almost dropped it, the other side of the sentiment. And so that means we're gonna block off the I love you this time with just a post-it note. 
and ink it up. Don't forget to take your post-it note off. And then double check, make sure you didn't get any ink where it doesn't need to be. And I'm gonna stamp that right there. Whoa, no! Okay, no worries, no worries. We can cover that up with a heart. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had a heart attack almost. Don't worry, we can always cover something like that up with an embellishment. So I'm gonna take the little heart stamp and we'll put a heart there and a heart there. And we'll put one there and there. And how about one right there? Adorable. Okay, so let's close it up. Now we're gonna take that other part that we have right here and we're gonna glue it or adhere it only to this side. Now, one thing you can do, see how there is the, um, you can see through the back, cut another stitched rectangle and glue it to the back of that so that when you open your card, you won't, you won't see, you'll see just the white part, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see my adhesive right here. The Stampin' Blends will bleed through your cardstock, but you just cover them up with another piece of cardstock. All right, so now we will put two dimensionals on this side and we're gonna put that just on the left side. And so now when you open it, there he is. So, so, so cute. Okay, you guys, I hope you like this project. I hope you'll give it a try. Um, make sure you click the link on my blog to hop over to, click the link here on YouTube to hop over to my blog to see the other two hot dog projects and to get that free PDF with all the measurements and the supplies. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.